bass players, am I right? Hi there, welcome back to Independence Guitar. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button if you actually want to receive notifications. Check the bell and help me out by liking and sharing the video. Let's get into it. So nowadays it is pretty much a meme uh, at how bad bass players are about taking care of their instruments. Coincidentally, this time of year is around the time of year you might pick up your instrument go to play it and notice that all of these strings are flubbing out on the frets and you can't even get a note to sound out. This is because of the humidity changes between winter and spring and it can cause a lot of havoc with your instruments. So in this case we need to go ahead and diagnose the instrument, what is wrong with it and why it is fretting out. Um, I've already gone ahead and done so. It needs a truss rod adjustment and I'm going to go ahead and clean it up for the customer and uh, get it sounding good and get it out the door. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that in case there are any of you that have any uh, hesitations about adjusting your truss rod. It's not hard and it's not as dangerous as some people would have you believe. So as you can see, this base has been very neglected. Uh, it's got a lot of grime on the fretboard and all kinds of dust up in the tuning keys and bridge and we are going to take care of that. You can see that the neck has a clear back bow, which was probably caused by humidity change of the seasons. So um, let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and down tune all the strings. Okay, so first thing I notice upon loosening up the strings, the nut itself has come completely loose. So first thing, we are going to reattach that. So to reattach the nut, I'm just going to use some Gorilla Glue and uh, we're just going to take a small layer, put it down a very, very small touch. You don't need a lot. You don't want it getting on anything. We are going to go ahead and press it back all in one shot because you only get the one. Press it on and hold. Okay, now that I have the nut set on there flush, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the truss rod first. You want to get the neck as straight as possible. Basses tend to be a little bit less temperamental than guitars. You can get away with a lot of things before the bass will stop working or sounding out notes, which is, I think, kind of the reason why bass players tend to go so long with neglecting their instruments. One of the things I like about uh, some of these Ibanez guitars is the truss rod cover. You don't have to take off with screws. They just slide right open. So to adjust the truss rod, we're going to go ahead and turn it counterclockwise to get relief. And we're gonna turn it until eventually you will kind of feel where it's in the middle where it won't really give any resistance either way. You can definitely feel it loosening up. Okay, so let's take another look down the neck and see what we're looking at. So if you can see that, it's definitely a lot straighter than it was, but it still needs a little bit more to go. So we're gonna give it a couple more turns. Now I can feel where the truss rod has been completely relaxed and I'm going to just turn it until I just start to feel the smallest bit of resistance going the other way. Okay, just started to give me a little bit of resistance, so let's take another look down the neck. Much straighter. Okay, so now that we have the truss rod squared away, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the fretboard first. Since I'm gonna be polishing the frets, I'm gonna to wait to dust it off and all that stuff until afterwards, so that way I can get all of the metal fragments when I do so. Now there is a few different ways you can do this. Some people like to use fret erasers. I like to go with the good old fashioned steel wool. And all you're going to do is, and you can either tape off your fretboard 
if you want. I don't recommend that. I don't like trying to remove adhesive from the wood. I would recommend getting uh, fret guards. They don't cost very much and they will protect the fretboard while you are doing the polishing. Another thing is once you get down towards the bridge, you're going to want to tape off your pickups because you do not want a bunch of metal fragments being stuck to your pickups. And if that just so happens to happen, uh, the best way to take care of that is to take, if you have an extra pickup lying around, to take that old pickup and just run it completely over your pickup that is in your instrument and that will sort of suck up all of the metal fragments like a vacuum. So the best way to take care of metal shavings after you have um, polished the frets is to take an old pickup from an old guitar, if you have one lying around, um, and just wave it over the frets and any spots that you see them. As you can see, as I am running the pickup over, all of those metal fragments are just being sucked up like a vacuum. And now the fretboard is nice and clean. So next thing we're gonna do is just going to give it a nice cleanup, uh, dust it down, and then we are going to adjust the bridge height and intonate it. So since this base is an all natural wood finish, um, I'm just going to use the Dunlop fingerboard cleaner. This is good for any type of wood surface. Don't spray it directly on. You're just gonna spray some on the rag and we're going to get all of the dust off. And for the bridge, it's very handy to have a uh, extra toothbrush laying around. Please don't use the one you actually use to brush your teeth with. Uh, and air duster if you have it available. all of the grime and gunk off of the bridge. And lastly, since the strings are not on, I'm going to go ahead and condition the fretboard as I am sure it has never had it done and it feels pretty dry to me. Um, I'm using Dunlop fretboard conditioner. However, there's a bunch of companies that make it. Nomad makes a good one. Whichever one you prefer is fine. You just gonna make sure you wanna do it once a year, roughly. Okay, now that the conditioner has been applied, I'm going to go ahead and take the microfiber cloth and just rub it in very gently. You don't want to wipe it off. You just want to uh, rub it in. All right, so now that the truss rod is adjusted and the base is looking pretty nice, we're gonna go ahead and set the bridge height and intonation and be done with it. Okay, so now that we have it all cleaned up, truss rod is adjusted, the nut is set back correctly, uh, the bridge is intonated and the saddle heights are set. Let's go ahead and take it for a test spin and see how it works.
Okay, so everything seems to be working properly and everything is in its place. Base is now playable, everything is good to go. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, tell me how bad your bass players are about taking care of their instruments and uh, let's shoot the sh stuff. Um, anyway, I have been Independence Guitar. Uh, have a good night, thanks for stopping by. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Till next time.